What is up with this thing? Welcome, class. <laughs> that was a good one. Welcome, class. I am Chris Haskins. You are here at the Land Trust tra Land Trust Training right now. For the next hour or so, we're going to be showing you how we buy real estate. We buy houses without putting the real estate in our names. All right, let me know. Does it sound clear? That was really, really crazy. I'm sitting here just spitting all this good stuff, and can't nobody even hear your voice. That was real, real grimy. <laughs> okay. My mission in ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. In doing that, I get to share with you what I've learned from doing real estate since 2004. I learned about land trusts in 2007. It's where I, I, I heard it from a old, bunch of old, rich, grumpy white dudes. And they showed me this in 2007. It took me three years to deploy it. it took me three years, right? So... What my hope for, my goal for tonight is to show you how we use land trusts and we title real estate in a trust, not in our name, not in our company name, so we can remain so we can remain anonymous. And you're going to hear this tonight, how to do it, exactly how to set it up. And you can hopefully deploy it faster, quicker than I did. It took me three years and hopefully it might just take you three, re three rewinds to do this. So uh, while we're teaching class tonight, there are some downloads in the video description. You can see my flow chart is in the video description below. But this is what we're going to cover here. The flow chart is going to, you can download it and follow along and keep it for free. It'll be emailed to you. And the link number one download is in the, uh, is the flow chart, which you'll get. And you can follow along. Number two download is going to be my land trust document packet. And, and for anybody that comes, that downloads the, the land trust document packet, which we're going to go over all that stuff, the trust agreement, the deed, the HUD, what does it all look like? If you download it now, I'm going to, you know, I got bonuses, goodies for my roundup homies that show up for me right now. You show up during the broadcast. You're going to get my subject to lease option training. It's six hours of me teaching, showing you how to find subject tos, how to structure them, how to negotiate them with the seller and how to sell them on a lease option, getting a large down payment. So if you invest, when you invest with the subject, with the land trust document packet tonight, for $1 extra, this little button down there, you'll get my subject to training. Now, I'm giving you for that bonus only for homies that show up right now, okay? But you can still get it after the day. And don't be emailing me, Chris, I missed the day. Can I still get it? You can still get it, but not for one. I'm giving it to you for $1, okay? This is a small investment. Showing you how to buy real estate. I know that we provide value. If I can show you how to buy real estate without getting a loan, without putting it in your name, and then sell it and get a large down payment, or perhaps buying it without putting it in your name, without getting a loan, without using your credit, and live in it. Would that be worth the small investment that we're asking for tonight? That's up to you. So I believe we provide a ton of value, and I believe you're smart, and I believe you can get out there and deploy this. All right? So I'm not an attorney. I'm not an accountant. I'm not providing any legal or professional advice. I'm here to just show you how we do business. So you can get out there and deploy for yourself. So download number one. We'll get started in here. Thank you all for helping me with that audio thing. That was crazy. And for anybody that is one of our members, members and members questions will get answered first. So put your questions in the chat as we go along and we will do all members first. If you want to join to help support our mission here, there's a link right below to say join the channel. It's going to cost you nothing but a small, a large Starbucks coffee a month. Helps me to, to continue bring on guests and to, to keep doing this stuff because I love you, man. I really need y'all. I don't know how long we all have on planet Earth, but who knows? Um, in, any day now, you know, you just don't know. So I want to get this information out to my people. Okay, land trust. What is a trust? What is this crazy stuff we're talking about here? What is a trust? Now, if you don't already, make sure you download your Barron's Real Estate Guide. I need to put that in the real in the description too. I'll put that in there in a minute. Your Barron's Real Estate Guide is going to have all this stuff. What is the trust? What is the stuff? Well, for, you know, before we even get to that, why do we want to use a trust? The reason we use trust instead of an LLC in our name in our name because we want to keep our name off of title. You see what happens if and when or when you get a judgment or some creditor or predator attaches something to your name and your house is in your name, it automatically attaches to that piece of property. I've had people call me time and time again. Chris, I just got a judgment. Can you help me? I don't want this. I need to sell this property. But the judgment is 
uh, preventing me from selling the property. I have to pay off this eighty thousand or sixty or seventy thousand dollar judgment before I can sell the property. And I don't want that to happen to you. So if you get a judgment in Chris Haskins' name, right, it will not attach to any of my property that's owned in a trust. Because when the when you go to sell a piece of property that's owned in the trust, they do a title search. So if you got a judgment in Chris Haskins' name, the, but the house is in one two three trust. They don't even go together, right? It's completely irrelevant. And that's what you're going to learn here tonight. And that is so cool. I mean, when I first learned this stuff, I'm like, you telling me I am not even on title anymore, but I control the property? I think that's cool. Time and time again, I get people calling me. Now, when you learn this stuff, I don't want you to use it for bad or evil. My guys out there with the child support. I don't want y'all using this stuff to get around selling real estate. If you got child support judgments, okay? Use this stuff for the power of good. All right, I know guys call me or they're getting a divorce. Chris, I need to hide some. I don't want to be a part of any of that stuff. I want I want you to operate with integrity, honesty, and with the utmost respect for all parties involved. If you owe child support, if you owe back payments on something, if you have a judgment that's legitimate, just take care of this stuff. Unless it's some credit card stuff that you just plan on wiping out later. But operate with integrity. Yes, you can use these strategies that I'm teaching you for for bad, for evil. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna presume and hope that you are gonna use these superpowers for the power of good. Okay. So the trust. What is a trust? It is an arrangement whereby property is transferred to a trusted third party. That's gonna be the trustee. The trust holds the property for the benefit of the beneficiary. That's one thing you have to understand. The beneficiary is the one that benefits. They get all the money. They get all the rent. Come in. What's that? Oh, they had it? They okay. did. Do you have a lock? I do. I do have one somewhere. I could find one. Right. Thank you. You have to remember that remember that the beneficiary is the one that benefits. Okay. So the three, there are three moving parts to this thing. Three moving parts in your land trust. All right. Make sure you download number one. Go to your download number one to get your flow chart. There's going to be three moving parts. All right. The first is your trust agreement. That's what we just went, went over. The next moving part is going to be your trustee. Now, what is the trustee? I'm glad you asked that. Well, your trustee is one who holds property and trust for another to secure performance of an obligation. That obligation is ownership of the property. The neutral party in a trust deed transaction. So your trustee is going to be a person you trust or an entity you control. Okay. Now follow along. I'm going to go over this stuff with the flow chart, but you, you got to just understand the players. Who are the players in this thing? So, so far we got the trust agreement is player number one. That's the document, which we're going to go over. The trustee is the person that you hire to sign on your behalf. Right. Now, the last is going to be your beneficiary, the beneficiary. This is the big daddy. This is us. The beneficiary is the person who receives or is to receive the benefits resulting from an ownership position or contract. So we're the owner of the trust agreement. Now, the reason this can all work, my roundup homies, see, this is nothing but a grantor revocable trust. That's it. Same thing. So I know some people say, well, land trust. I don't understand. Just change the words to grantor revocable tr trust. Same thing, exact same documents, different name. So the the reason we could do that, we're the benef we're the beneficiary because we've hired the trustee to work on our our behalf, right? So how does all this moving part stuff work? So you got your house here, okay? Here's your here's your real estate. All right, everybody understands the real estate. Your real estate, or for my wholesalers that, that are not going to buy anything, you may not buy anything, you just got a contract. It's, if you don't even own the house, let's say you just got a contract. And, and for all of you that are saying, well, I got a mortgage on my house, does this work for me? Yes, it does. I don't want you to think just because you have a mortgage, it won't work for you. So the house goes into the trust. We deed it into the trust when we buy the property. Now, I know a lot of us, uh, when we bought our real estate, just including me, we bought it in our name. You can always transfer it out later into your land trust. And we're going to go over that in a minute, how you do that. Once it's in your name, it is pathetically simple just to transfer it over to your land trust to get it out of your name. But I will say it is a lot harder. It's actually infinitely harder to transfer a property you already own into your trust. Why? 
because it's challenging to go hire a title company and then, then do a title search and give them the deed and then go get it recorded and hire a trustee when you now don't really have to, right? It's a lot easier. I'm telling y'all, just please take my word for this. It's so much easier to buy the property in a trust from the beginning. That's why I love subject two. And that's why I'm giving you that bonus. When you download the land trust document packet, you're going to get the subject to workshop for $1. As long as you click that button. See, if you buy it subject to, there's nobody telling you how to take title. That way you can go ahead and put it in the land trust from the beginning. Okay. There's no reason for you to put it in your name or your LLC. All right. So the house goes in your trust. The trust owns the property, not you. Okay. House goes in the trust. Trust trustee of uh, the trustee signs on the behalf of the beneficiary. Okay. Let me repeat that. House goes in trust. Trustee signs on behalf of the beneficiary. Now the beneficiary is going to be either you or your entity, you or your entity. Okay. So you have to decide what do you want to be your entity? Now the, you can, you can really take it to the max and do a uh, revocable living trust, family, family limited partnership, all type of stuff. But that is where you talk to your attorney. All this stuff up here is what we're focusing on for anonymity. No one can, the main purpose that we set up land trust roundup homies is so that if anybody wants to come after us or attach something to our properties, they are going to have to have the conversation with their pocketbook. Okay. So the, the you're not going to have necessarily asset protection if they're coming after you because they can go get a court order <clears throat> and your trustee will have to show up. How do I know? I have been privy to a court order. I have received because I am trustee for other people's land trust around the country. One of my mentors had a, uh, I was a trustee for my mentor and he stopped making payments. God bless him. He lost 13 houses at the time. He lost every lost almost everything. So the court subpoenaed me to come in because I was his trustee for his land trust. And so when I showed up to court, I told the judge, listen, I'm just a trustee on this thing. So they let me go. So I, I'm, I'm living proof that the trustee has no liability on behalf of the trust. So the trust needs to be somebody you trust, y'all. Your trustee, who do you trust? Now, if you don't trust anybody, I highly recommend you to get some, get some better friends. Or if you don't have, you know, if you're like one of these guys, I don't trust nobody ever. I don't even, I don't even trust my family. Just get an entity. Your trustee could be ABC Corp. And then you sign K Haskins, right? So nobody knows who K, no one knows who K Haskins is. So the moving parts of this thing, you got to understand house goes in trust. It's your trust agreement. And we named that one, two, three trust, or whatever the street address is. Your trustee will sign everything. Now, when I say everything, they're going to sign the HUD. They're going to sign any loan documents for me for you. It's like I've, I've borrowed tons of money on behalf of other beneficiaries. So I want you to think of the beneficiary. This is us. We're the people in the background running the show. We've got our trustee out there taking all the bullets and the trustee actually goes on title. We go nowhere on title. When you look up one of the properties that we own, you'll see the trust is the owner and I'm nowhere on there. So how would you even know that I'm even linked to that property? It's almost, it's virtually impossible unless they get a court order and the trustee will tell them. All right. So that's how they can find out. But hopefully you're going to do everything right and you don't, you won't have to deal with getting a court order for your trustee. All right. Can everybody still hear me? Let me get comments here. Okay, good, 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 good. I am her. You didn't miss anything. My my microphone wasn't working for the first eight minutes, so you're good. You're good. Chrissy, hey. Oh, wow. I didn't even see you guys here. Sorry about that. Yep. We're gonna, uh, please put your questions in the chat. We're going to get to all questions at the end. Put your questions in the chat and uh, members, members, quest, members questions will get answered first get your questions in the chat so you can download your download your your flow chart in the video description as well as your land trust document packet with the special with the bonus there okay all right so you have to get this y'all you have to understand how this works i'm gonna do it one last time then we're gonna get to our documents house goes and say it trust it's just a document let's rewind a little bit so the house, how does the house actually get into the trust? Well, with a contract. 
your contract. So when you write up the trust, let's say you're going to buy 123 Main Street. When you go write up your purchase and sale agreement, you're going to write you as the buyer. You're going to be the, the trust will be the buyer, not you. All right. You have to understand this. You got to understand this stuff. RT, all the downloads. Number one, the flow chart is in the video description below. There are both of them, the documents as well as the flow chart. Number one and number two is in the video description below. Okay. You should see them right in the video description. I'm going to show you all some stuff tonight. It's going to blow your mind too about, because I know some people are like, well, when I close the deal, I got to, they got to write a check out to the trust. I'm going to show you a HUD, uh, what they call it, a seller disclosure. I'm going to show you how we extract the money without having to actually have the check made payable to the trust. This is some good stuff we're getting tonight. Good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Okay, so when you get the property under contract, you're going to put 123 Trust as the buyer. Okay, just write it on there. And your trustee will sign on behalf on that contract. All right, so the house will go into the, the how do we get it into the trust? The purchase and sale agreement will let us know, listen, who's the buyer on this thing? 123 Trust. Okay, boom. Next, you fill out your trust agreement. That's going to have the address of the property. And then you go to closing, boom, the, the title company or your attorney will create a deed, will create a deed for you, deeding it into the trust, okay? This is good stuff, man. Give me a thumbs up if we're covering some good material here tonight. Now, the beneficiary, you, you are the one that gets the rents. So for me, I got, all my houses are in trust, all of them, even the one I live in, right? People, I never forget one time I had a client, I used to, I used to when we were smaller, invite clients over to my house which we will for the new property, right? But they come over and then they, one time guy searched my property. He's like, Chris, your house isn't in your name. I'm like, you're going right. It's not in my name. It's in my trustee's name. Why would I want to put the house in my name? We don't do that. Okay. So you're in the background. You're a ghost. Rents come in. Your trustee will be able to refinance. You have to make sure you trust the trustee that you're dealing with. The trustee has... He's got teeth. He's got a lot of power when it comes to your land trust. He can buy and sell the house. He can refinance the property. Okay. He can go out there, borrow money. He can get a home equity line of credit. He can do all that stuff on your behalf. How do I know? Because I've done it. But the trustee does have a fiduciary duty to do right by you. But that's not necessarily thinking that they are, right? So make sure you please. Hire a trustee that you trust, somebody that somebody that you can you can uh, you can trust. And if you don't, once again, if you don't have anybody, man, you need to get some better friends. Okay, so we got the flow chart here. This is how it works. Your trust agreement. So now let's uh, go ahead and download your. You got your. Uh, you got the flow chart document. Now go ahead and download number two in the video description right below. Is number two. You'll see. We're gonna go over the land trust documents together so you'll see exactly how this thing works i want you to know how it works and it's not rocket science it just takes a little time it only appears to be challenging because you may or you may not understand it but once you understand this flow chart right here piece of cake trustee works for me i'm the beneficiary i get the check land trust agreement we turn this trust agreement here we turn this into the title company. That's it, man. It's seven pages. All right, let's do this. So we're going to go over some of the documents. Let's go over what the, uh, I wanted y'all to see this closing disclosure here. So let's look at this. This is my first thing I wanted y'all to see because some people, I never forget. I was trying to just visualize and conceptualize what does this actually look like on paper, right? Because I can tell you all this stuff until I'm blue in the face, but is it really going to help you when it, once it gets on? I want you to know what, how does it look when it really gets on paper? Entire screen. Okay. Let's share. All right. Here's my first thing there. Nope. So these are the docs you're going to get when you download the land trust document packet. So here's the deal we just closed. I don't know. Last week. Missy, please stop that whining. 
I wanted y'all to see. Uh, hold on a minute. Somebody let Missy out. Morgan. Yeah. Let Missy out of your room. She whining. Why she whining? Let out go pee pee. No one lets the dog out but me. Lord help me, God. The borrower is information there, but the seller, this is what it, this is what my houses look like, y'all, when I go to sell them. The seller, the 3149 trust. That's it. And that's what I want for you too. Sell price of $400. So a lot of people are like, well, what am I going to do to get that money out so that I don't have to worry about dealing with a check coming out to the trust? So what we do is we create invoices and you have it all line items, line itemed out so that you get the money here as opposed to having it at the bottom line. So your bottom line is zero. And this is only when, I don't know why, this is only when, let me do this. Can y'all see me? Can y'all, okay, cool. Y'all can see me. This is only when the, the, the buyer's title company doesn't want to make the, okay, this is how we want it to happen. We want it to be where the buyer's title company just makes the checkout to the trust at the end, at the bottom, right? But some title companies want to be buttholes and they just they refuse to do it. I do not know why they refuse to make the make the check out to the beneficiary because the beneficiary is the one that owns the trust. I don't I don't know why. But, uh, so sometimes you're going to have to put some invoices in and get get all your money right here on the HUD. So because I'm telling you, man, for some reason, some title companies just refuse to do it. And you're gonna run in. You're you're going to run into some that won't do it. And I would probably dare to say, oh shoot, I would argue that there's probably more title companies that won't do it than will. I, I mean, it's like they. I feel like I'm just. I know I'm really not that smart. Why well, I have to teach people? I'm gonna have to teach title companies and attorneys that we just make, make the check out to the benefit. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Did y'all see that? I need to show that again. RT, you might have to refresh your screen, my friend. Just refresh your screen. If you don't see the docs, just refresh your screen. They're right there in the video description. You can't, you see the, there's a yellow thumb right there. Look below, right there. You'll see the yellow thumb. Let me show the screen one more time. So here's the HUD, just in case. So sometimes you'll have to, this one we just sold. This is how you get your money right here. Sometimes the title company will not make a checkout to the beneficiary like we want them to, and you'll have to do this. So just give them invoices payable to Chris Haskins, payable to your LLC, payable to your whoever you borrowed money from or whatever. Okay. So that's how that's how we extract the money off of the close closing disclosure when the buy when the buyer's title company won't make the checkout to the beneficiary. You just got to know this stuff. Yeah, I know it. Y'all keep it up on there. Okay. Uh, so you've downloaded the docs. The next document. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah. I want to show you. So you're getting all, you'll get all this stuff. You get everything here. Uh, let's see. I wanted to show you what. Oops. Land trust training. This is what your deed will look like. Oh, come on here. This is crazy. Okay, cool. Here's my deed. Here's one of our deeds. Made this day of whatever, July, between the seller and the first part grantee chris haskins trustee of the blank street land trust all right this is what your deed is going to look like when you go to closing now remember i told you that i'm trustee for tons of other investors a lot in my area some around the country so they send me the deed and i just sign it right well they send me all the documents the hud and the, the note and all that stuff and i sign it on behalf of the other investor too so i am in essence i'm a beneficiary and on some deals, I'm a trustee for other people. 
All right. I, I wanted you to see that D there. And what else we got here? You're all you're gonna get all this stuff there. Sample contract. Oh yeah. This is what your contracts will look like. Let's see if we can get that there. This is what you're gonna look like when you fill out a purchase and sale agreement. You gotta know this. So let's see this agreement made date there. The buy, this is when we bought. The Kenmore Trust. Now, this is before you can name it. Did you know you can name your trust whatever you want? You can name it Bojangles Trust, Sentara Trust, Haskins Trust. I've named them all type of stuff. I remember one time I, I bought a property from a guy. It was subject to, man. Wow. Uh, little. His, his last name was Little. I, I, I named it the Little Family Trust. So you can name it whatever you want. But what we do now is we name it the Street Address Trust, like you saw a minute ago when you saw that with one we were selling. So that's how you do it. That's how your purchase and sale agreement will look like. And then your trustee will sign it on behalf of the trust. And we're going to show you how the trustee needs to sign it in a minute. Okay, so you got that. Let's see what else we got. I'm just going over the docs. These are all coming into your, these are all coming into your land trust document packet. Okay. And how do letters come? Let me show you all how letters come to me. Because I'm the trustee for other people. So this is a deal that I'm a trustee on. Now, Chris Haskins, comma, Blank Street Land Trust. So whenever I get a letter, please and fly, please find the recorded deed with respect to the transfer. So they send letters. It's so weird, y'all. Look at this. You have no idea who owns this house, right? So this is the attorney mailing me the letters on behalf of the investor that I represent. I'm just a trustee for the guy. Isn't that cool? So I, I think I just uh, I, I'm actually amazed that I'm getting all the trustee gets all the mail. I just give it to the other investors, but not even the attorney knows. Right. The attorney doesn't even know. Well, you do have to give them a piece of paper at close. You have to give them your land trust agreement, but they don't send anything to the beneficiary. They send all to me. And that's going to be the same thing that happens if a judgment or a creditor, they're going to send all the mail to me. So I'll give it to the beneficiary and he can do whatever he wants to do it. All right, so that's how it comes, man. I hope you guys are. If I, I just get excited when I see this stuff, you get a judgment in your name, and then it has nothing to do with the real estate that you own, the real estate that you own in the trust. I mean, that, that really gets me excited. Maybe I'm just geeky like that. All right, what's our next document? Okay, let's go over our trust agreement. Let's go over our trust agreement here. Uh, bring up your trust agreement there, and then we'll go over that together. You got to know this, it's extremely important. All right. Okay. This is your trust agreement. This is this guy right here, y'all. This is when we put the house into the trust, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit here. This thing is so small. I can do 175. All right. This is the trust agreement. It's real simple. You or your company name or entity name as grantors, beneficiaries, here and after collectively referred to as the beneficiaries. That's you. You or your company. Whether one or more, which designation shall include all successors in interest of any beneficiary. And your trustee, somebody you trust, remember that's going to be your employee as trustee, whose address is whatever the mailing address is. All right. And it shall include any successor trustees. We're going to get to that because your trustee could go rogue. And we're gonna to get to that in a minute too. We're gonna to, we're gonna get to, we're gonna to get to what happens if your trustee goes rogue and they try to sell off all your stuff. All right. So number one, declaration of trust. The trust created by the grantors. That's gonna be you. Herein shall be known as the one two three trust. All right. You remember at the beginning of the training, I showed you a few minutes ago. I showed you my closing disclosure where it has simple number trust. Okay. You can't associate me with any of that. All right. Not that I'm running from anything. Number two, the purpose of the trust uh, is shall be to hold title to a trust property. Now, I, I want to stay here for a minute. We have to understand if you don't get anything out of tonight, just remember a land trust is nothing but a way to take title to a piece of real property. Let me repeat that. Let me just stay here for a minute. A land trust is nothing but a way to take title to a piece of real property. That's it. That's all. That's all a trust is designed to do. Now, we try to muddy it all up and make it all complicated like humans do. 
but that is the only reason we use trust to hold title to a piece of real property. All right, period. Uh, it appears in the video. You got a RT Coleman? Can somebody help RT? I know that I know they're there with the, the let me see. Is there a problem with the downloads in the video description, y'all? I know they're there. They are there, but look in the you have to look right below. You'll see a, a, a yellow hand there, brother. Hey Tracy, what's going on? Wow, long time no see. The trust is nothing but a way to take title to a piece of real property. Please just keep that in your mind. I don't want to make it sound too difficult for you guys. All right. Duties and interest of beneficiaries. The person named in the attached exhibit B, which we'll get to, are the beneficiaries of this trust and as such shall be entitled to all earnings. They have the right. All right. They have the right to direct to trustee to convey. Remember? We're telling the trustee what to do, y'all. Trustees out in front, they're their employee. They have the right to participate in the management, to participate if we want to, or we could be the manager. Or they have the right to receive the proceeds and avails from the rental, sale, mortgage, or other disposition of the trust property, okay? Number nine, powers and duties of trustee. The trustee shall not record this agreement or the name of any of the beneficiaries in any place of public record unless by a court order. Y'all hear that? So the trustee doesn't have to tell anybody who the beneficiary was. I love who is. I love that. Trustee, you don't have, don't be telling people who who we are behind the scenes. But as you see down here, they can mortgage the whole or any part of the property, and the trustee can borrow money. The trustee should have the following powers: with the consent of the beneficiaries, to purchase the property, to sell it at auction, barter, exchange, or dispose of it at any time. To rent, lease, hold, or any whole or any part of the trust property. You got to remember that stuff, y'all. So the trustee has to, he's got power. It's written right there. So I I trust my trustees, no problems. I know that these guys are gonna do exactly the right thing. They're gonna send me any mail that comes in, and they're going to call me if any if anything pops up. So I want you to have those relationships as well. I don't want you to feel like you can't trust anybody because I'm here to tell you. It's hard to get out of this life without having somebody you trust. I feel for you. Number seven, compensation of trustee. The beneficiaries jointly and severally agree that the trustee shall receive the sum of $100. Right, so we give our trustee 100 bucks. Unless he's doing some more work, like our trustee, Smitty, sometimes he does a lot of work. So we pay him thousands of dollars on top of that. But $100 is just to sign the docs. Liability of trustee. All obligations incurred by the trustee here under shall be the obligations of the trust only and not the individual trustee the trustee shall not be required to enter into any personal obligations or liability in dealing with the trust property all right what does that mean so let's say your trustee goes out here and he's driving down the street and he crashes into somebody and gets a million dollar judgment against him personally that judgment does not attach to the trust property okay that judgment does not attach. It has no, uh, the trustee has no personal liability. Remember when I told you I went to court, the judge, they dismissed me when I told him I was just a trustee for the land trust. It was cool, man. Sometimes I get nervous when I say this stuff works. Yes, it does. Removal of trustee. The beneficiaries shall have the power to remove a trustee from his office or appoint a successor trustee at any time. So you can fire them and put a new one on there and you will get the successor trustee document with your, in my land trust document packet. Resignation of tru uh, trustee. Trustee may resign his or her office within 30 days written notice. Sometimes things don't work out. Uh, sometimes you have to, I mean, relationships come and go. So they send you a letter. They want to resign. That's okay. Sometimes it's, it's, some, it's time for people to move on with their lives. Right. Assignment. The uh, the interest of a beneficiary or any part that of that interest may be transferred only by written notice. So we're going to get into that in a minute. You can actually sell. Did you know you can sell your beneficial interest to a to a third party? That's where we do assignments. That's when we do assignments without even changing the name on the contract. Here's another thing. Trustee has, shall have no liability uh, whatsoever arising from his ownership as trustee. Same thing we covered. 
This agreement and all transactions com contemplated hereby shall be governed by, construed, and enforced in accordance with the laws of the state of whatever your state is. Okay, Chesapeake, Virginia. All right, all that other, all that other stuff you can read on your own. So here we go. Here's our page seven, our signature page. Now you're going to sign it. I'm always managing member. That's how I do. Your trustee, they sign their name. Comma trustee, they sign their name. Comma trustee. I want y'all to see that. Did y'all see that? That's that's how your trustee signs their name. Make sure you do this. Trustee signs their name, comma, trustee. Okay, you got to have that down. You don't want your trustee to sign personally. I remember one time I was doing a trustee deal for somebody. They wanted me to be their trustee. Did you know the attorney had the nerve to put Chris Haskins personally on somebody else's land trust? I'm like, I don't even know where the house is. Why would I sign for somebody's house? I don't even I have nothing to do with this transaction. I did a video about it actually. So make sure. That's just a golden rule. When you sign anything, put comma, whatever the capacity that you're signing it for. So we sign trustee, um, uh, signature, comma, trustee. And when we do the beneficiaries, we sign comma, managing member. And this is the property address, legal description, all that stuff. And exhibit B, that last page is going to be the beneficiaries. This is the only place that you have the name of the beneficiaries and you keep it in your file cabinet, round up homies, round up family, real estate, round up. Keep this document in your file cabinet. No one needs to see this thing, right? You don't gotta tell anybody who the owner is. Feels good showing, rolling up to your real estate. I always say, man, I work for, I just work for the guy. I work for the rich white guy. I always let them know that, you know? So you, you can decide whether you want to tell people you're the owner because you're not on title. Okay. All right. So that was our, we just went over our trust agreements. Make sure you have that download that you got it. Um, what you're going to do when you download this, this is going to be number two download. You're going to fill out your trust agreement is nine pages. Give it to your title company or attorney and say, listen, I want to put the property in this trust along with the contract. So every time we do a deal, purchase, purchase agreement says buyers, one, two, three, one, two, three trust. And then I give them the trust agreement and it's over. They create the deed. All right. Simple, simple process, y'all. It's good stuff, man. This is so good stuff. All right. So let's say successor trustee. Yeah, we got to go over that one. Let's say your trustee does go rogue. And you know what? I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, girl. Uh, let me see. Thanks for y'all patience. I'm trying to get on my computer here. Your next document, if you need to get rid of your trustee, it's going to be your appointment of replacement trustee. Simple. Let's say, you know what? I don't trust a guy anymore. He's your trustee or whatever. I don't like what he's doing. I, I, I see some things. I'm not really cool with it. You file this document. This uh, represents that they are all in 100% of the, of the beneficiaries to, uh, to that certain declaration of trust that you already have. Uh, which is known as your trust name hereby replace current trustee and appoint new trustee whose address is blank. All right. That's it. And if you want to, you can file a new deed with the new trustee's name on it. Simple, simple stuff here. I copy land trust, whatever we need to go over assignment of beneficial interest. Here's going to be the tool that we use. If we want to sell, our land trust, but keep the trust in our name. I'm sorry, keep the trust name. So you can actually sell. Did you know you can sell a piece of real estate? I can sell. Check me out. This trust agreement, because I'm not selling a house, right? Because I don't own a house. The trust owns the house. I can sell this trust agreement to somebody else for $50,000 and the property stay in the trust. If that's not gangster and you can actually do it even before you buy it, that's what we were doing. You can wholesale real estate um, in a land trust as well. You get the contract and then you just sell the, the beneficial interest to somebody else for an assignment fee before or after you buy it. I mean, that is powerful stuff, y'all. Powerful. But then you do have to holler at the IRS because that is a taxable event. I don't want y'all thinking that you can just sell this stuff and not pay taxes. 
All right, this addendum made on blank. Man between a signer agrees to sign his rights and beneficial interest over to a signer for a fee of five thousand dollars, whatever you're gonna charge, right? This is it, y'all. Simple, 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 simple. I know I'm making it sound simple. However, it could be a little complex, but it just takes a little time and repetition is the king. Repetition is going to help you understand this. It took me, shit, out. once again, three years. I think you can do it faster than me. Matter of fact, I know you can. So if you didn't already go ahead and download your flow chart, it's the first download in the video description and the land trust document packet, including my subject to lease option workshop sells for $500. I'm giving it to you today for $1. One dollar, all right, for all my people that showed up with me today. Thank you so much for supporting your boy. Let's see if we got any more documents here. Last doc that we want to go over, got the warranty deed. Let's say you already own the property. Remember, I was telling you it's harder to put the property into your trust after you own it. So there's something called a warranty deed to trustee. So much stuff you got to learn here, y'all. Warranty deed to trustee. This is just a regular deed. Warranty deed to trustee. You're going to put the uh, the grantor's name there. You're, you're deeding it over to the trustee right here. And you give this to the your property address. And that's going to be legal down there. This is how you transfer it into the trust after you own it. Now, I, I don't necessarily say go out and just do these on your own let the title company or attorney do this for you so you don't mess it up let them create deeds for you but when you deed it from your name from your name into the trust where you already own it <clears throat> you still got to pay recording fees and not not all there are some recording fees but you got to pay doc prep stuff with your attorney or title company but you can give them that deed so they just have an idea what you're trying to do because i usually most title companies have no idea what you're doing. You mean you want to transfer your house out of your name into a truck? How do you do? It's always something with these guys, right? It's always something. Okay, so you have all that stuff. So much for you to cover tonight. Man, I see a million questions. Let's get to some Q&A. Put your questions in the chat. My favorite part of the day is Q&A. This is my favorite time. My favorite part. This is where we go over all this stuff. Y'all couldn't hear me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I really messed y'all up at the beginning. New Jersey. What's going on, Malik? Let me know if I can hear you. This is StreamYard, my friend, Black Wealth. I killed y'all on, on the thing at the beginning. Sorry about that. We've been going for a good hour here, so let's get to some Q&A. So, so far, you got your trust agreement. You got your... You should have... Once you download this stuff and just look at it, you see where the trust name is going. You see who's the trustee. You see how it looks on the deed. You see how it looks on the closing disclosure, HUD statement, whatever you want to call it. There should be no excuse after tonight. This is the facilitation that I needed when I was coming up. I'm showing y'all exactly. This is what we do. You saw my HUDs. I don't want y'all to think that this is just theory for me. And you you keep your trust agreement in your file, so nobody nobody sees it. Like nobody sees it. Only person that's going to know who the beneficiary is is you, and the person that you're closing with. Let's get to some Q and A. Besaya, uh, can I put my LLC in a trust? My LLC is four years old. Put it in a trust. Well, usually what happens is, oops, let me do this. The beneficiary owns the trust, and your beneficiary is going to be your LLC here, right? But you decide who you want to be. So the real estate, remember, land trust is nothing but a way to take title. So the real estate is in the trust, and your beneficiary is the owner of that trust, okay? So I don't know if, you, you know, I don't know about putting a trust in the LLC, the LLC owns the trust. Okay, that's a good question, though. Who was that? Who asked that question? Salia. Pajama Mama, can you put your land trust? Yes, the land trust 
can be that's a great question too the land the irrevocable what did you say can you use an irrevocable yeah so you can have your beneficiary be the irrevocable trust for your land trust okay good question there good question but i'm not teaching that tonight i'm teaching just how to get the property in the land trust you need to go get your attorney to, attorney to do that i ain't trying to pay five figures in, on child support oh man i hear that all the time y'all y'all dudes y'all gotta stop trying to I, I probably once a month i get a guy chris get divorce child support don't do that don't do that y'all get your one lady and get to settle down you know what one of the secrets of being rich is staying married to one lady ask tiger woods danny if, when you put your question in please put your city or your state where you're coming in from i have a house that's already in the trust good should i keep that trust in place and change the beneficiary or create a new one no all you have to do is do the assignment of beneficial interest assign it what do you have oh, who's the beneficiary keep that in place change the beneficiary create a new one i'm presuming you want to change the beneficiary so if you want to all you have to do is use the assignment a beneficial interest you could take it from llc a to llc b or from your name what's your name from danny to your llc i'm presuming that's what you're doing la real estate investors i went to a state planning attorney he advised me to put my home in the living trust you can do that yeah i was listening to ronald grant he stated that it was not the best move at all. so the living trust i'm glad we brought this up la real estate investors <laughs> ronald grant is mean isn't he uh your living trust can be the beneficiary for your land trust, okay? So your trust agreement will still be the owner of the house, but then the owner of the trust is your living trust, okay? So you this, this is where estate planning and asset protection comes in, which is why I'm, I'm not teaching that. I just want you to pass the bridge of getting the house in the trust first, and then you can do all this. So this beneficiary can be flipped back and forth as many times as you want it. So LA real estate investors, this is how you can make your living trust owner of that of this trust land trust here. Okay. Black wealth education is the best to add a business account to a trust. I never have. The downloads RT Coleman are in the video description, my brother. Lenise, will this work for an inherited property? Please, y'all, put your. I want to know where you guys are. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I would recommend you to once you inherit it, put it in a trust. I'm not even recommended. That's what I would do. Aisha, I purchased my purchased on my phone. I did the documents on my computer. How can I return? Just send my team an email. Chris buys houses. We'll get you straight if you can't access the docs later. Deshaun, what can happen if you do what you was in a relationship and your ex was named as trustee and doesn't want to sign the trust back over? Good question, Deshaun. That's what we call a rogue. We call a rogue trustee. Okay. It's going to be a rogue trustee. So what we do in that instance is we use our appointment of successor trustee document. That's going to be in your downloads in the video in the video description. We're going to wipe her out and we're going to place in a new trustee. Real simple. One document. All right. So make sure you download your land trust document packet. And don't forget, you're going to get a bonus for $1. Once you download it, you're going to get my subject to lease option training. <clears throat> showing you how to buy houses without using your credit. And then once you buy it without the bank, right, you can put it in a land trust and sell it, get a large down payment. So go ahead. That's going to be the second download in the video description below. That's a good question, man. Who said that one? Who had that one? Raina, if you don't see the yellow thumb in the video description, then you have to just refresh your screen. Sorry about that. Deshaun, I'm sad that you had an ex relationship. That ain't cool. LA, I will have a ticket out of my living trust deed to its own trust, making the living trust as a beneficiary. Yeah, you can do that. You sure can. I'm looking. Oh, refresh your screen, RT. Yes, Art uh her, you can do that. We'll be on the Tracy. Wow, good to see you. Long time no see. Holy cow. I've known this lady since 2004. Pink Lloyd, I'm not qualified to discuss. Uh, can you do this with commercial property? She asks. 
I'm not qualified to discuss that. Uh, I'm presuming you can, but I would definitely get get uh, get some type of consultation on that. I, I'm not quite sure how that works. Oh, somebody on YouTube. Oh, you're on Facebook. Oh, I see why. RT, you're on Facebook. I'm bugging. Now I see why I don't see why you don't have a. Let me do this. If you're on Facebook, I'll go ahead and let me. If somebody can copy these things here, somebody can copy them. If, if somebody please copy them over the over to Facebook, I'll put them in the chat too. Uh, please forgive me, man. I left you hanging on that. RT, you on Facebook, dog. That's why you can't get it. Hold tight, y'all. Let me put them in. If somebody can put them in the comments for RT so they can download the the docs there. I really, really didn't mean to leave you hanging on that one, brother. I'll put them in the comments there so you can see it. I'll put the first one, number one. I'll put number two for you. RT, you know what? My bad. I left, I left you hanging on that. That's all my fault. Sorry about that, brother. Rainia, that was my fault. I, I left y'all hanging. I killed y'all on that. Rawl, what are the basic trustee duties and standard bill? We went over that one. You can just rewind for that one. Darius, what's up, homie? So this tells me blockchain technology can replace having a middleman as trustee, removing the person altogether. I believe so. I do believe that artificial intelligence in the future will be uh, trustees for people's trusts. And I do believe artificial intelligence will own real estate on behalf of a family. And I believe it will use the blockchain to verify it. I do believe that, Darius. That is a good point. Now that I'm finally, finally understanding how crypto works, that blockchain is a, it's a monster. Yes, the downloads, yes. Well, I'll send them to you. Just go to the, just go scroll down in your, RT, scroll down in your comments. I'll put them in there, brother. Yep, Darius, I'm sorry. There, I'll put them in the, in the comments now. Lee Little, how do you handle some homeowners and property owners insurance when the home is not in your name? So for me, I will either put it in the beneficiary's name and add the trustee as a, an additional insured. I've done that. But just, I, I don't want to act like I'm an insurance broker. Go to your insurance person. Let them tell you how to how to title the insurance. Okay, don't believe me. Let them tell you. Say, look, I got a house in a trust. How do I need to title this thing? So my broker, my guy, Mark at State Farm, I just put my trust as an additional insured. Dr. Jackie, I'm putting two homes in my LLC. I'm not mad at that. Turn up to, hey, Tori, I'm trying to purchase my debit card and it's saying 297. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, you the the land the land trust documents are one fee. The subject to training is going to be an additional dollar for that. Okay, you get that added on. That's a bonus I'm giving my roundup homies. Whoever invests in the land trust document packet tonight, I'm going to get you're going to get my subject to training for one dollar. Okay, download it's in the video description, my friend. Man, make sure I hit that uh, thumbs up for me. Hit that thumbs up. RT, will you be able to email? Yes. Once you check out, it'll be right there. Chrissy, wow. I know you can't give tax advice, but maybe word it correctly. You can answer this. Is the beneficiary the one who may get the tax benefits such as interest, taxes, etc.? Absolutely. That is a great point, Chrissy. Thank you for bringing that up. I forgot to say that. So the beneficiary is the one that has all the tax burden. Now, a, 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 a land trust is nothing but a flow through or pass through entity. All the tax burdens, all the real estate taxes and all that stuff goes through to the beneficiary all the expenses all the all the income so the tax burden and when even when you write it up on your taxes you don't have to put another page it just goes on schedule e as real estate owned okay so chrissy that was a great point you made there so yes the beneficiary has to deal with all the tax burdens and the beneficiary if you're making payments in your name the beneficiary is going to claim the interest on that too RT, have a deal now. I'm looking for cash buyers or oh, El Paso. RT is looking for cash buyers in El Paso. It's 297. Yep. If you do too, land trust is 297. That's right. LA, if we use our LLC as trustee, your name is still on the title when you sign, although you sign as trustee. What's the workaround? Ah, 
This is why you pay to come here, y'all. I love it. This is why y'all pay to come to these trainings. So let's say Chris Haskins has. Let's say Chris Haskins says, I don't have anybody I trust or I don't want to trust nobody. And I want to use my LLC as my trustee. And I'm signing on behalf. I guess I'll put it right here. So I'm going to put K dot Haskins. Trust, ooh, comma, trustee. All right. So you put a K dot or you can squiggle. So yeah, you, they're, they're, they are going to type the name on the D. So you put K Haskins as the trustee. Yeah, that is a good question, LA real estate investor. You must be really, really doing some damage out there. That's a good point because your trustee will be on title. And I think in Arizona, I don't know why in Arizona, if you're in Arizona, they do put the beneficiaries on a deed. It's like the last page beneficiaries, Chris Haskins, Joe Blow. Can't help you with that. I am her. Cool. Uh, I am her. If you have any issues with the download, make sure you just email my team at Chris buys houses. There's an email right there. The subject to thing. You get all the videos and you can get the docs too. It all comes in there. You're getting a hell of a deal. Jesse, thanks for your knowledge. I appreciate you. I brought your packet last year, but but couldn't download the subject to paper. Who do I contact? Just email us and send you, send us your receipt, my brother. We got your back. We'll get you. You're in Philly. I am heard. Just email us. Any problems? Any problems you guys have, just email my team. Z B B Sia NYC. Can you put your name and the LLC on the trust so you can take the equity out? You can. You can take the equity out whether your name is on the trust or not. As long as you're the beneficiary, you can pull equity out. Lanise, I'm from New York. Can we hire you to be? Sure. Yep. You need better friends. I understand. We have a link. Just email Chris. Chris, Chris buys houses at Gmail. Just say, yeah, I need the trustee services. I charge $250. Uh, I'm not doing it for 100 bucks, unfortunately. I just I do not have the time. But if you want me to do it, I'll do it for 250. Okay, that's my fee. Sorry about that. Was that my cousin? What y'all talking about? Black wealth. Would that be the smart contract? Yep, it'd be a kind of smart contract. What's up, Brandy? What up? I am her. So, one person can be the trustee and the beneficiary. Yes, if you want, you can be your own trustee. And you can be a beneficiary. I would not, I would highly not do that myself. But if that's what you want to do, you can. And it's all up to you. So round up, homies. I am so happy to be able to share this with you. You got one day to get, if you invest, when you invest with my, in my land trust document packet, you're going to get, or you can actually add on the subject to lease option workshop for $1. Just make sure you hit the button. It's going to show you how to buy real estate sub two. Uh, Cause I'm, this is probably going to be a last training in the house where I live now. I have to rent it out. I'm moving to the new house. I'm going to show you how to buy sub, buy sub two. It's not without using your credit, not going to the banks. And then you can buy it, put it in a trust and sell it using lease options. That's how we do it. All right. And the other, the download number one is just a flow chart so you can live with it. Sometimes you need to have it in your hand, follow back. Okay. Lease. I mean, um, Trust agreement, beneficiary, trustee, beneficial interest. Sometimes you got to go go back over things a few times so you can understand how this stuff works. My email is chrisbuyshouses at gmail. It's, it should be, if you, once you purchase, it'll give you an email address right there, my friend. chrisbuyshouses at gmail. This has been an honor. Hour and 10 minutes. This has been an honor to share with you. Land, trust, moving parts. Real simple. Just remind yourself, whenever you're setting this up, I had to remind myself too, Chris, this is nothing but a way to take title to a piece of real property. Nothing. Let's start there. Start there. Land trust is nothing but a way to take title to a piece of real property. That's it. That's all it is. Then you can back up into the trustee. Okay. What does the trustee do? Well, they're the employee for the actual trust itself. What does the beneficiary do? The beneficiary is the one that benefits. All right. So you have to just kind of beat it in your head. It's going to take some time and don't be mad at yourself and don't come down so hard on yourself. If you are not getting it the first time, remember, it took me three years to hear this. 
land trust, land. What is this trust stuff? Uh, I just buy them at LLC. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, what I'll do. So I think sometimes we can really be harsh on ourselves. When we don't get something the first time. This is wealth management. Do you think people know how to manage wealth in a day or an hour or even a year? Shit, or even 30 years, right? Some people never get it in 30 years. So I'm saying all that to say, take some time, give yourself a break, rewind the video, watch it, go over the documents. Who does what? What are the, the designations for the trustee? How does the beneficiary, oh, how does it flow through to my tax returns? All that stuff is going to take some time to get on there. Hey, if you're late, KK, just rewind it. Rewind it, y'all. This has been good stuff. Any more questions, I'll let you guys go. The land trust document packet is in the video description. It has been my honor to serve you today. Where's my thing at? I can't even. Take a second round up, homies. Subscribe to the channel. Like the content. Share. Hit that thumbs up. But share with anybody else that you think needs to understand how do I buy the house without putting it in my name? I don't want to, I don't even want to put my LLC on public record. Okay. All right. Round up homies. It's been an honor to hang out with you. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I think this next video, Oh, the video that comes out Saturday, a guy I've been getting several messages from social media people where they have loaned money to other real estate gurus. They lost their money. So I'm going to show you this weekend exactly how to loan money or put out money when you're doing real estate deals to protect yourself if you're not on title. Because a lot of people just want to put money out, write a check and get a bigger check. So I'm going to show you all this weekend how that, uh, how that works. I don't want you to get burned, man. Because if you think Greg Penny or my mentor told me, if you think the person you're doing business with is going to treat money like you do, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> That's what he told me. Like, damn, you mean people don't treat money fairly like I do? No, and like you do? No, they're not going to do it. All right. Okay, round up. I love you. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Download your stuff. That bonus will end in one day. All right, peace.